It's uh, truly an honor to be back in Rockville with you today to celebrate the 100th anniversary of the Montgomery County Police Department. But I want to just take a moment to note that three times in the last few weeks, members of our Maryland law enforcement community have been the target of violent assaults. On June 12th, Deputy First Class Glenn Hilliard of the Wicomico County Sheriff's Department was shot and killed in the line of duty, leaving behind his wife Tashika and three beautiful children. On June 28th, Sergeant Kenneth Ramberg of the Baltimore Police Department was dragged for two blocks by a car following a traffic stop and continues to be hospitalized for his injuries. And last Saturday night, a Montgomery County Police Department cruiser was fired upon in Germantown during a chase that led into Virginia. These recent incidents are just the latest reminder that every single day we call on our law enforcement officers and all of our first responders to stand on the front lines to protect the rest of us and of the risks that the brave men and women, like all of you, face when you answer the call to serve each and every day, never knowing if it will be your last. We owe a profound debt of gratitude to all of the members of the proud blue line, the thin blue line, who selflessly place themselves in harm's way and who do so willingly and bravely so that our communities can be safer. You truly are heroes walking amongst us. Today, we gather to celebrate a landmark milestone for the sworn officers and civilian professionals who have made the Montgomery County Police Department one of the finest in the country. We've come a long way from the department's first days 100 years ago when the most common crimes in the area were cattle rustling, bootlegging, and poultry theft. The department started out with no police station, so those first six officers met here at this courthouse every 24 hours to check in with one another. They had no radios, so to make a call they usually had to find the nearest firehouse. They had no cruisers, just uh, a few motorcycles, and they received $300 a year to keep them running. They had no kind of alert system, so they came up with the idea to place a flashing red light on top of the courthouse that would alert police that someone was in need of assistance. But what the Montgomery County Police Department had then, and still has now, is the courage, bravery, and dedication that is required to protect and serve in one of the most diverse and dynamic regions in America, here in the shadow of the nation's capital. And speaking of the capital, on January 6th, after the United States Capitol came under attack, the first order I gave was to Superintendent Jones, who's here with us this morning, uh, to immediately mobilize the MSP mobile field force and to engage our local law enforcement agency partners for assistance. And among the very first to arrive were members of the Montgomery County Police Department who had to endure being spat upon and assaulted while they were assisting and protecting the Capitol. We are grateful for the bravery of those officers on that day and on every day. The Montgomery County Police Department begins <laughs> Montgomery County Police Department begins its second century during an especially challenging time for law enforcement in our state and in our nation with a rise in violent crime and problems with recruiting and retention and morale, which is why I have fought tooth and nail to ensure that our police departments have the tools, the support, and the resources that they need 
to do their jobs effectively and efficiently. It's why I proposed and enacted a half a billion dollar refund the police initiative that increased state aid to local police by 50% to help recruit and retain quality officers, to increase diversity, expand community policing, to improve training and teach better de-escalation techniques, to provide body cams and other technology and equipment upgrades. Time and time again, we call upon our police officers and they bravely answer the call to protect the rest of us. And I'm proud to take these steps to support them with these historic investments. In closing, I just want to thank each and every one of our Montgomery County heroes, and I want them to know that you will continue to have my full support, that I'll continue to stand with you and your families, and that I'll always have your back. So once again, to the men and women of the Montgomery County Police Department, Congratulations on 100 years of outstanding service. May God bless and protect each and every one of you and all of our dedicated police officers and first responders. And now I'd like to ask Chief Jones to come forward so I can present him with a governor's citation to commemorate this incredible 100 year anniversary milestone. <laughs> 